Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Finding Classic Rebirth. Rebirth. We're gonna random here. Last run was fantastic. This one looks like it could be Eve. Alright, still got the eye. Figure that one out right from the get-go. We are on basement one, of course. 91XA0MNH. I really rolled out the tongue surprisingly well there. I guess it's only like half of the letters in the English language that I have a, a problem with. Now, we are going to figure out. This is like, I have to, I, I oftentimes, when I do rebirth commentary, will open up with like a little bit of a, uh, an explanation of how to play the character. Which is not always, you know, aim at the enemy and shoot, you know, and try not to get hit by their shots. Because it ain't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep coming. Our, uh, our strategy as uh, Eden, sorry, as Eve is a little bit more uh, minute than that. A little bit more intricate, I guess. We want to get a spirit heart and then uh, hurt ourselves, get into the Horror of Babylon state and never lose the spirit heart, basically, is how it goes. Or not lose the spirit heart for quite some time, at least. Uh... I need to give myself that commentary now. I need to reacquaint myself with the character because it's been so long since we played as these characters. You know, Maggie, we had not played as for a long time until the last episode. It ended up not being that relevant just because we got such great items right off the get-go, or at least pretty soon into it we got good items. Um, Isaac, you know, he's fairly standard, but that Lazarus run I definitely had to refresh my memory. And, and Eve is a, a character who, like Lazarus, your success is much dependent on how you actually play the character. You know, if you, if you play Lazarus like Isaac, I think you put yourself a little bit at a disadvantage. If you play Eve like Isaac, I think you put yourself at a little bit of a disadvantage. You gotta, you gotta use the advantages of the character, because otherwise, you know, you might as well just be playing as Isaac, I guess. Um, ideally... You know, we get a spirit heart, hurt ourselves on this floor, enter the Horror of Babylon state, and then find a way to get permanent Polaroid uh, invincibility on the next floor. Brother Bobby is fine, largely because we uh, now have no risk of getting Brother Bobby from a deal with the devil. We've gotten it for a key, or no key, because uh, we didn't actually uh, have to spend one there. We've gotten it uh, for relative free instead, for the opportunity cost of an item room, uh, and that's not so bad. We can live with that. Will give us a little bit of extra damage here in the early game as well. I figured, yeah, there's no way around this big room here. And there is a Tinted Rock. It'll probably take us two bombs to get it. No, it only took us one bomb, and I almost picked up the Spirit Heart right away, which would have been idiotic, quite frankly. Now, hit me. Thank you. Now we will enter the Horror of Babylon state. And I will come back with renewed vigor. Pick this up. And get ready to fight our boss. Crawl space? Oh, we got a, a penny from the poop. Quarter for your call and all your mama's love there. Okay. Duke of Flies. Not a problem. Uh, we could use one bomb, but I kind of feel like it's it's not essential because we have Horror of Babylon. Maybe we can save our bomb for the next floor and get some more spirit hearts to insulate us. Because if we end up uh, on the cellar, I could find myself in a tricky spot. But uh, for now, we're good. Don't pick that up. Pentagram is great. So what do we have now? Like a 180% chance to deal with the devil on this floor as long as we don't take red heart damage? No, the insulation is still nice. Uh, which is my catchphrase for my insulation review show coming this fall on YouTube. It's gonna be... It's gonna scratch that itch! Don't, please don't say that about insulation. That perpetuates a harmful stereotype that all insulation causes itchiness. Which is just ignorant. That's just ignorant. Now... We are going to... Ooh, <laughs> we're going to try to get that cancer item there. That's not Pisces, right? I'm not losing my mind? No, I don't believe so. So we will um, try to get that. We're going to need some bombs to do it. There's also a Tinted Rock adjacent to it, which is really just great luck. Because we wanted to use a bomb for it anyway. We can, you know, kill two rocks with one bomb. Well, I think we actually need two bombs. That's not really that much of a... <laughs> It doesn't seem that valuable, does it? Two, uh, kill two rocks with two bombs, but you, you get the idea. Well, okay. Well, if one of the rocks pays out with a bomb and also a rock, then that's... I can't even... The analogy has fallen apart. We can't even get two birds stoned at once anymore. Okay. So we're doing... We're doing well. Obviously. We got great damage. As long as I don't pick up a half red heart or a full red heart and, and completely bung it up, we're fine. And we have a deal with the devil coming here. So many spirit hearts. 
already great DPS and, and has gotten better thanks to the, the pentagram. Cancer effect, of course, gives us that wafer effect. After we get hit once. Not that it matters for uh, most of these runes, but hugely important in the long term. I really feel like, like the wafer is better than the cancer item. Which I say just to differentiate it from the cancer trinket, but... Uh, it's uh, it's not by a whole heck of a lot if you have a certain amount of HP. You know, if you only have one red heart, obviously the wafer's a lot better. But if you have, like, four, they're pretty close. I'll take Speedball. I think this item is acceptable. And we will start our run without any deal with the Devil Precedent, which is always scary. It gives you a lot of potential for disaster. But we do have a spacebar item we can now use with Head of Krampus, and I think we'll head down to the next floor. I didn't even go to the item room. Stupid. Classic Northern Lion mistake there. Let's uh, let's slow it down. You know that's uh, that's a mistake that you you can probably afford to make once, even though people are gonna rake me over the coals for it. I know they're doing it out of love. You know, if you're watching episode 740 something of my series, uh, I I respect that you are probably a fan, even if you think that I'm kind of an idiot. That's that's your prerogative. Um, and but I understand that it can make you angry sometimes. You know, the, 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 the people the content that you love can still make you quite ornery. I posted a Fallout episode the other day, and uh, on that episode I, I murdered an NPC because I was mad at how annoying I found dead money. But, oh, that is an interesting pickup. Hopefully we'll have a chance to get rid of this HP pretty soon. But um, somebody said, man, Northern Lion can really be a fucking idiot sometimes because he murdered this you know, digital collection of polygons in a video game that he's quite fond of, right? And I said, hey man, I think this is the problem. Is that people escalate too easily. I say, hey man, don't you think that's a little harsh? I killed an NPC in a video game. It's a sandbox game where, you know, the developers have given you the option to do this. Uh, to, to kind of ramp up the, you know, personal level of agency in the game and emerging gameplay and stuff like this. Don't you think it's a little harsh to say I'm a fucking idiot? You know, and then he said, you know what? I was caught up in the moment. You, uh, you're not a fucking idiot. I just overreacted. Thanks, Eggman. And I think that's... I could have reacted, and I could have been like, Hey, shithead, you're fucking banned from my channel. You got no respect. Which, at the, at the time, was what I wanted to say, of course. My emotional uh, animal brain was like, Heck yeah. You know, go, go wild on this fuckboy. But instead, you know, he might be having a rough day. He might be caught up in the moment. Maybe that's his, like, favorite NPC in Fallout history, and I just killed it. And he's he's sad that he won't be able to see me have the interaction with it that uh, that he had. So, you know, you gotta... It's not I'm not saying you should just take stuff like that on the chin. I'm just saying, you know, if you're gonna leave some angry comments because I, I left that item room behind, I understand. But also, keep it within the context of, uh, you know, the severity of the actual problem here. You can play the seed and tell me what I missed, actually, and that would I would be interested to hear that. But there's no going back in time. Speed down. Lock down! Wow, this room is hot garbage. At least there's a battery charge. I will get that, because I'm an idiot and used uh, Krampus's head before I probably should have. It would be really nice to get small rock here. It would be really nice to get Jacques Chirac here. Former Prime Minister of France. Uh, okay, this is not good. This could compromise our deal with the devil action. But the idea is that, of course, that would give us another spirit heart, which it did. And then we could have hurt ourselves, and that would have been very smart, but instead I didn't. Uh, and we got to deal with the angel. Oh, fuck. This is where it all goes wrong. Um, of course, we will get the body. Body's a great item. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, except for the fact that it completely fucks up our, our Horror Babylon shenanigans, but that's okay. Having the extra HP might be worth it. And this is... Uh, we've had so many runs lately. That was terrible. So, we've had so many runs lately, it's like we've been eating KFC Extra Crispy. But uh, we uh, have not been getting Devil Precedent as much as I would like. A lot of situations, like, statistically more than you would expect. Where it just has not been working out for us. So we're gonna head down to the next floor. This coffee is still far too hot. And that's okay. This is good. Scary, but also good. Ah, uh, that second spirit heart is awesome. So, I would really like it if you did not pay out right away. But if you're gonna pay out right away, I'm super happy that you paid out with the IV bag. That's gonna give me, basically, a portable blood bank that I can use for myself. And you know what? We're gonna take ourselves down to half of a red heart. 
so that I have the ability to uh, not. So I, I, let's put it this way: I have the ability to pick up a half red heart and still uh, not completely screw myself. We might as well at least check this room out. Doing fine on time. We're doing very well on time, actually. Mega Fatty will be an interesting test for us here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to avoid picking that up. Uh, we actually don't have as much damage as I would have thought. He got hit by three of those bombs, I think, which is good. Um, yeah, we, we don't have as much damage as I would have thought uh, with, with Pentagram and Whore of Babylon, but uh, it's probably a little bit above average, and you never know what we're going to get on our deals with the devil here, right? Like, you never know, or deals with the angel, I should say, because we're probably fairly unlikely to get deals with the devil. That's not totally true. We do have the pentagram, so I don't know. It's a crapshoot right now. We're we're very much, uh, we're ruled by the dice gods right now, which scares the crap out of me, because that's how a lot of runs can go south, but we do have a lot of advantages. You know, Contract from Below, or a Babylon, Krampus's Head with no other space bar item is... is Good, possibly even great. I, I don't, I don't share the, um, the sim or the, I don't share the sentiments towards this item that a lot of people do, where it's, it's unplayable now that it's got a six room charge instead of a three room charge. My, I've, I've said it time and time again, but I'll say it again to fill a little bit of dead air here. Um, Krampus's head for me represents a design problem that I don't think you fix with charges. I think you fix it by giving Krampus either uh, less. Prevalence, either Krampus shows up less often, or you give Krampus a much larger item pool so that it's not 50% lump of coal, 50% uh, Krampus's head. And I, ah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Um, and I think that, that solves the problem adequately. But, you know, of course I have to actually test it. We'll see, though. We'll see. Good pills. Amnesia, that is not a good pill. These are, like, perpetually terrible pills. I don't want to turn into Jerry Seinfeld. These pills are terrible! That's... I don't have a good Jerry Seinfeld impression. Why are the pills so bad? And why do they keep making them? Uh, might as well take both of these. Neither of them is going to replace Krampus' head, but there are books that you can imagine would. Imagine would. Now I'm just like, that's a great... It's a great tagline for, like, the lumber lobbying industry, isn't it? Imagine wood. Now imagine a world without wood. You're dead. This is, the joke is half-baked. Just, just live with it. Thank God they didn't get much of a chance to shoot there before the death card popped off. We'll do the same thing here. And... Book of Secrets. Uh, I'll use it. So far, this floor is basically just paid out with an awful lot of books. Uh, we haven't really picked up anything else of, of incredible value. And because of Amnesia, now I'm like, I don't, I don't have a a concept of where we are on the floor. So I'm not going to pop Krampus' head because our boss fight could be around the corner. And it's actually kind of of critical importance that we keep our uh, Krampus' head available because I need to be able to kill this boss ASAP and hopefully pick up something that makes our lives easier. Every hit is is actually pretty valuable here, so just try to sneak in as many of those as possible as quickly as possible. We really can't afford to take very much damage, which is by design. I hurt myself, you know, to, to put us in the in this position. I hurt myself, you know, to get the Moonstar proc. I focus on the run. A.K.A. the... well, we won't follow with that one. Uh, I will take Super Bandage. It's gonna compromise Horror of Babylon, obviously, but the extra HP may or may not be worth it. Uh, we get Fear Shot, I mean, Dark Matter, I should say, and Headless Baby. These are both okay. And we will, um, you know what? Oh my fucking god, you idiot. See, I'm, I'm harder on myself than you guys can be. That's not true, most of the time I'm fairly lenient. Um, I think we're going to take IV Bag with us instead of Krampus' head. Which is not going to seem like a very smart idea, I'll admit. But the ability to stay in the Whore of Babylon state, I think, is very important. He says as he picks up Red Hearts, but I picked up those Red Hearts for a reason. Because we're going to come back up here with our Curse Room. We're going to get inside, pick this stuff up. Then we're going to get outside, and then we're going to slam down on this and pick up as much money as is humanly possible. 
Now we're back in the Horror of Babylon State, and we picked up, like, maybe 20 cents as a result of it, plus those two black hearts from that curse room, which would have cost me uh, a spirit heart to get into if I had not done things the way that I did. Sweet. And we're still, we're still kicking on this Eden run. That coffee is still far too hot. What do we have in here? Golden chest. Tempting. Now, admittedly, giving up uh, Krampus' head is a little bit of a, I don't want to say a tall order. It's, it's a big cost, I'll admit. But you have to think, you know, maybe twice per floor we use Krampus' head. That's a lot of damage. However, the ability to perpetually stay in the Whore of Babylon state has got to be worth a lot as well. Um, we should use one Joker card right away, just to, just to get it done. And then we can carry the other one with us. And we're on Depths 1. So we've actually kind of, uh, kind of come back around on the whole boss rush thing. Like, we're a little bit slow, but possibly still on time. Eevee. It's not always there when you rush, but it's always on time or maybe a little bit slow. Ashanti, if you ever want to be on the show, you just let me know. Look, I'm not saying it wouldn't be a step down for your career after making one of the best-selling albums of the 2000s with rap superstar Ja Rule. I'm just saying. I don't run Murder, Inc. I, uh... I don't even... Uh, this is a joke in there somewhere. There's wordplay. Murder, Inc. would also be a great name for a paper shredding company. That's all I'm saying. Two of hearts we can use to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 no, this second card was supposed to be the Joker. What what the hell happened? I'm losing my mind here. We can at least use two of hearts to get back down to the Horror of Babylon state but and, and gain some money in the process. But I was like, I thought we got two drops and they were both the Joker card. But one of them was... One of them was the Joker. One of them was two of hearts. I wouldn't have used the Joker card in this situation. Uh, we'll take Guppy's head instead of... Uh, IV bag, which is admittedly a little risky, but I'm happy with it. Oh, this this could be good. This could be good indeed. We don't really want the money, nor do we want this pill. So this is all going to be rerolled. We get a new pill. Cricket's head. Okay, so it's all worth it already. And more money. And uh, Red Hearts that I should not have picked up. But we can, again, abuse this a little bit. Oh my god, these pills. So we'll come back. Grab IV bag. Walk our way into the curse room. Obviously not really what we were looking for. Walk our way out of the curse room. And then hurt ourselves again. By the way, we cannot pick up. I was incorrect. We can't pick up a half spirit heart. Or a half red heart. And then stay in Horror Babylon State. Because we have... Uh, Maggie's bow, so we might as well stay at one heart and give ourselves the maximum HP possible. Hopefully we pick up a Guppy's Paw at some point that allows us to... Uh, allows us to just get rid of our red heart containers. Then we get the best of all worlds. You know, we get the, the body, we get the... Spirit hearts from the body, and we get the Guppy, and we get the extra damage. It's a good situation. So we're uh, basically running behind schedule now for boss rush. I think it's still doable, but it'll have to be pretty pretty fast here. Oh, come on. Just whiffing on like every single shot. Uh, none of these are worth it, I think. So we'll just head down to the next room. And this is probably the right way to get to the boss. We're going to skip some of these interstitial rooms to see what we can get. Now, I'm thinking Chariot plus Ramming Speed might be okay. But I think it may... Well, first off, I took damage because I'm an idiot. But secondly, I think it may have slowed down our, our fight a little bit. Got to remember, I don't have a Fly Army like perpetually. I only have a Fly Army... That adds up to three per room. Okay, don't take HP. I think now we can get away with... Well, obviously it's not going to be HP, you freaking idiot. Okay, come down here. Let's try to get some extra HP. Or an extra um, teleportation cards. HP on the, the brain here. Operation Amnesia is not what we want. Bob's brain I will take because I'm an idiot. And we'll go. That's kind of the reason, or like a, the genesis of the reason I like Bob's brain. Did I just actually pick up a bunch of red hearts without even thinking about it? Yo, brain, you need to you need to check yourself a little bit here. You're making some silly mistakes. 
Now we're at the point where it's like, okay, we need like nine lives or Guppy's Paw to show up. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to get back to the Horde Babylon. See, mind you, the Cricket's uh, head pickup means we don't need to uh, stay in the Horde Babylon state. But I'd very much like to. I'd very much like to indeed. One of these days that Michael Caine impression is going to get retired. Ooh, Satan's Bible. Basically, I'm going to treat this as a black card because I think I need more offense than defense at this point. I mean, we seem to have this happen fairly frequently as uh, as uh, Eve. We get these runs that are like, hey, you know, I know you don't want HP, but I've given you, you know, super bandage and, you know, old bandage. We don't have old bandage on this run. And, you know, Maggie's bow so you heal twice as much from every single red heart. It's like, it's almost better to just build a red heart run out of this, but... I'd, I'd prefer to avoid that if if possible to get the extra damage, but if we have to do it like that, we have to do it like that. Guppy. Not Guppy. Okay. Uh, we're still on time to get out of or to get into boss rush. It's really the getting out that's gonna be the tricky part. We've seen our item room and did not well, did not love it at least. Uh, sure, you know what? We'll take nine volt. We'll donate as much as possible. I don't really care to play the Judgment. I'm going to donate not as much as possible. I'm going to donate to like eight, 850. That seems completely reasonable to me. Take forever with the donating to 850. Okay, and then we're going to take our bomb because we're going to use our bomb to try to crack some skulls. And there's one last skull crack in here. And we're hoping for a teleport card. Odds are not great. Odds are not... Just not. <laughs> And uh, we'll finish this off. You know, we may have a chance to get into our boss room and, and like what we see, but... What we should do is get teleport and then teleport out. Get rid of Guppy's head just for a joke. That'll be conducive to our success, I think. Uh, it's going to be 50-50, I think. We're close, though. We're close. Oh, come on, you dirty dog. We made it in! Just to see what it is. Now we're going to leave. Thank God it didn't close the door on me. I don't think it can, but still. Cricket's body was doable there, but I think I would have hurt myself a lot more by being in there than I would have gained in, uh, in, in value. Watch out. Bob's brain's going to go here. Alrighty. Hmm. This run is a little bit more uh, touch and go, you know? It's a little bit more shake and bake. It's a little bit more Amos and Andy. It's a little bit more uh, white white chocolate chip macadamia nut. Oh, okay. Be a little scared here. Are there any are there any cookie chefs out there that can tell me why Subway cookies taste so good? You know, I, I feel like when people ask that question, they normally are like, "What's their secret?" I I'm actually like, "What's their secret ingredient?" Because I'm sure that it is probably like just using more butter than you would use in your home kitchen or it's um you know like partially hydrogenated vegetable oil or something like that but I wanna know people are always like well not always it's not like everywhere I go people are saying this to me um, but sometimes people are like man mashed potatoes at restaurants taste so good what's their secret? well the secret is the restaurant kitchen you know, you're not in the restaurant kitchen, so you don't feel guilty that they put like a half stick of butter into every single order of mashed potatoes. All they need to do is make sure it tastes good, and then you feel a little better because you're like, I didn't get fries, half a stick of butter. I, I've been there. And you know, there are there's some artistry that goes into it as well, maybe a little extra garlic or something like that. But uh, I, that's the thing, you know, you can, you can kind of get yourself uh, guilt-free out of that, even if it should or uh, should not be necessarily. So I'm wondering, what, what's the secret? What's your, what's your secret chemical? I have a lot of respect for food scientists. I mean that sincerely. People always like, whenever I say that, people laugh. And I'm like, nah, man. People are like, McDonald's is gross. I'm like, yo, there's a lot of PhDs making that food in laboratories. I guess it does come across as a joke, but I mean it sincerely. I have, I have an incredible amount of respect for, uh, for uh, artisan chefs as well. Don't get me wrong. And home cooking can't beat it. Well, let's be reasonable. You can beat it, but it's hard to beat consistently. Depending on who you got making the meals for you. Um, and who's asking. But, uh, at the same time, I have respect for those food scientists. 
Two black hearts, so he, this paid for itself, basically. Um, why am I picking up red hearts, by the way? Well, just because if I've got one, you know, in for a penny, you're in for a pound. That was a great dodge from the uh, chub there, the Larry Jr., to get in the way of that. Anyway. I'm always interested in stuff like that, you know? Food is really interesting. Food is, like, MSG. Did you know, and most people probably do know this by now, because the internet is prevalent. But when I was growing up, and even still to this day, you'll, you'll see, like, Chinese food places that will proudly have a sign on their door that says, like, no MSG. And it's all marketing, man. MSG, there was a little scare in the 80s that people were allergic to it. It causes cancer, gives you headaches. Some people are allergic to it. Turns out, it's all bunk, man. It's all just marketing. Uh, there are some people who are allergic to MSG, but it's, it's like the gluten-free thing, you know? Like, uh, then if you can choose to live your, live your life and eat whatever food you want. I'm not trying to place a value judgment on you there at all. But most people who eat gluten-free are not necessarily, you know, suffering from a gluten intolerance. At least not more than the average person. Um, they, they eat it because it makes them feel better, or, you know, they, um, they, they get a certain prestige from it or something like that or you know it gives them something that they want in their lives I guess is what I'm trying to say MSG is like just a harmless a harmless food additive and it makes stuff taste delicious people be like oh I don't like the taste of that there's too much MSG yo you are missing out dog that is just terrible dodging on my part um admittedly you know I'm sure I'm gonna get a hundred comments here that are like I'm allergic to MSG okay if you actually medically are no problems man or lady doesn't matter um but I think, you know, most people, if you're if you're skipping MSG because you think it's bad for you, you are missing the heck out. I hope I'm not scientifically ignorant here. But uh, I would rather go to a, a Chinese restaurant that does not have a sign that says no MSG on the front. Because the MSG, very commonly used to make things more delicious. Even if it is a little bad for you, you know, too much salt is a little bad for you, but you still gotta have it. Not on, like, a nutritional level. I mean, you need to have a base level, but you gotta have it to make that food taste as good as it can possibly taste. Please give me a deal with the devil here. I'm, I'm starting to squander my run a little bit. Bob's brain is doing it for me again. We do have a deal with the devil. Wait for the creep to dissipate. Take a speed upgrade. I couldn't need less. And, okay, there's a guppy chance. There is no guppy chance. We are moving on. Because I'm a sucker, like I said. Fucked up in the head. Not. Nah. Okay. Mmm, that coffee is still a little too hot. That's remarkable. 27 minutes later. That's going to be a prequel to uh, Danny Boyle's smash hit franchise of zombie films. Are we in the post-zombie world yet? Are we in... I think we've almost made it. We, we weathered the storm. So, just say, if you're watching this right now, give yourself a pat on the back. Because we made it past the zombie era of everything. Which is a fucking sweet name for a book. Now, I don't have... Uh, there's a lot of great movies and, and other media properties with zombies. Even this year, Dying Light. I thought that was pretty good and a lot of people thought it was better than I did. We should get Matchstick at least. Um, you know, World War Z, the book, is really interesting. Not one of my favorite books of all time, but a, a thoroughly enjoyable read. Although I listen to it. I, I listen to the audiobook because I'm a... I, I, I can't read. So, I... Um... I, I, I support that, you know? Um, 28 days, and even... I, I'm fonder of 28 weeks later than a lot of people I know. I am legend. Not really necessarily part of the same cloth, you know, because it's the Omega strain from the freaking 70s or whatever. The book was written in, like, 1950, but you get the idea. Um, but, man, I'm, I'm ready to move on. I hope we don't just move on to dinosaurs, though, because, like... I, the, it's the perfect storm. It's already, it's not, if this ends up happening in two years, you're watching this video in like 2017 and you're like, man, there's dinosaurs everywhere. This is not, wow, Northern Line, you're a genius. Please keep that in mind. We've already blown that up, so we must have gotten this way. Um, this is already happening. Jurassic World had like the second biggest uh, gross of any movie in history this year. Uh, Ark is huge on Steam. But I can't help but feel that that sets the stage for... Our, our newfound dinosaur overlords. I've already seen on Steam a lot of games being shoved out of Unity. That's not meant as disrespect to Unity as an engine at all. A lot of games get shoved out of Unity as like, you know, Dinosaur Hunt 3D! And it's just like default assets and you shoot dinosaurs. I'm like, oh fuck, this is it, isn't it? We're, we're about six months away from being at peak dino. 
It won't be peak Dino, though. The peak will sustain itself. It'll, it'll last a long time. You know, with the Jurassic World sequel coming, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see this, uh, this take place. And we're gonna go through the same cycle, man. This is cool. This is stupid. This is mostly stupid, but some of them are kind of cool. And I can't wait! <laughs> In case you're missing the, the, the joke there. Okay, no, 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 back up, back up. Tell me what you're gonna do now. Two Limb Biscuit references in the same day? Is it my birthday? No, it's my generation. That was terrible damage, by the way. I'm not, I'm not playing very well right now, but we are still alive. Man, remember when you couldn't say that without people being like the cake is a lie? We've come a long way. Now, don't feel bad if you if you were just typing a comment there that was going to say the cake is a lie. Like, LOL, 30 minutes, 44 seconds, the cake is a lie, am I right? You know, that's that's cool. You let your, you know, oh my god, it's all these enemies spawn creep. Let your interests fly, man. Don't let some kind of, you know, pompous asshole like me tell you what you can and can't uh, comment at on the internet. I'm just saying, it's nice that it's not as ubiquitous as it used to be. Oh, yeah, let's do this floor all over again. I would love to get, you know, four more hits. I'll take things that Smash Mouth has said for 500. <laughs> Smash Mouth used to be popular, now they're not so popular. <laughs> what have I ever done with my life? <laughs> oh, I roasted them. Okay. There we go. This is, this is solid. We're going to start building the case for a win here. Can I borrow a feeling? Would you lend me a jar of love? Hurting hearts need some healing. Take my hand with your glove of love. I don't know why that popped into my head there. Maybe because I am Miles Van Houten. Is that, wait a minute. What's Millhouse's dad's name? Fuck. No one's ever going to take me seriously on the internet again if I can't remember Milhouse's dad's name. It's either it's either Miles Van Houten, Neil Van Houten, or Linus Van Houten. I'm going to have to look that up before this video is complete. Otherwise, I won't be able to fucking fall asleep tonight. I mean, it is only 1.55 in the afternoon. But i got to think about my future, you know, my future sleep. Which is a great name for an album. Um... You know, it's like people say, oh, no, I'll never uh, drink coffee or caffeine after 4 p.m. or I won't fall asleep tonight. That's like me. It's like I'll never uh, leave a Simpsons question unresolved after 1.54 or I'll never fall asleep later that night. Oh, we made it. We made it. We may die on this run. When it freaking rains, it, it flipping pours, man. Lose one run and all of a sudden the seams start to show. Thank you, dead bird. You're... You're doing not insignificant amounts of damage. We're still alive here. Don't say it! Don't say it. Some of you people just about said it. Uh, let's, uh, let's come back this way. Maybe, like, blow this up. I gotta do a stretch here a little bit. Because the coffee's not entering my bloodstream as quickly as I needed to. Got something here? Maybe, like, a. No? Okay. Well, that's fine, too. You know what? You don't like it, Napoleon? You can leave. We will move to this direction and see what we get. So I got plenty of bombs, plenty of keys. This is the coffee that never gets cold. It's it's a landmark invention. Never. I don't want it to get cold. I want it to be lukewarm. Well, not lukewarm. I want it to be warm. Is the perfect temperature for coffee, unless you're looking for a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas mod to get your jollies off, in which case you probably like it a little bit more piping than that. Wink, wink. Don't tell Jack Thompson. It's, it's another great name for an album. It's like, please hammer, don't hurt him, but yeah, don't tell Jack Thompson. Lead single, video game violence. We need more HP. Wait, 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 wait. We can do this and not be completely fucked. Why did we only take half a spirit heart on the way in? We don't have the wafer. 
And we took a full one on the way out. What is... What, what's happening? Oh, I already took damage on that room. And then the cancer item saved us. Okay, I understand now. Oh, God. I, I have to... I'm sorry to be so quiet, but I have to focus. Although sometimes I'll admit, you know, it's counterintuitive. The more you, the more you talk, the more you sort of put yourself in a flow state, and you're, you get like meditative, and your hands can kind of just do what they need to do. But uh, we're in a dangerous spot, no question about that. Don't hit yourself with Bob's brain. That would be just a terrible way to go. Let's do this up. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, you should be very close to death. Very close indeed. That's uh, I can only win. Tough rebirth runs when I'm doing my shooting Michael Kine impression. There's no stopping us. Mr. Mr. Hugh Jackman. Obsession is a young man's game. Young Hugh Jackman. Christian Bale, he's gonna he's gonna prestige you. Oh, I don't like this room. I don't like this room because the reward is is lesser. Oh, that damage was was solid. I'm very scared about what happens if we don't get more HP by the time we fight Isaac. Getting to Isaac may or may not be a problem. Getting past Isaac, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Not our secret room. Okay, this is acceptable. Um, let's check down here for our secret room. We got bombs, like technically like an unlimited one attached to our uh, flipping face right now. This room is bad. Oh my god, I almost walked right into it. Hit him with the Bob's Brain! Gonna hit it from the back to the melody of Roll It Slow, but now I gotta get up in it fast, but I'ma finish last. Because no matter how much of a thug you see, I still spit it like it's R&B. Come to the club with me, and when some Luther come on, I hope you're still gonna be feeling me and be in love with me. No HP. This is this is a bad moment for us. We may lose this run. And I think it's, it's high time we accept that. And then, now that we've accepted it, let's uh, rewrite the future. It's uh, fucking Rebirth Days of Future Past, okay? I've seen the future. Um, Ellen Page, put your hands on my forehead and, and send me back. I'm ready. Oh, this is this is dangerous. Well, let's assume we live through this room, which is uh, <laughs> an admittedly heady assumption. All we need to do is uh, oh, that was good. All we need to do is beat Isaac. Would I rather? Try to get to a room and get some more stuff, or would I rather uh, just fight Isaac? I would rather go down fighting the boss, so I would like to think that this is our better option. That's not our second secret room. Are you yanking on my chain? Are you a sinner who's probably going to sin again? Where are we going here? Oh, I can't. I, I have to, but I can't. Oh, what I'm gonna. Okay, here we go. I, I may have to focus here. I, I don't think I'm seeing the board really well right now. I gotta admit. Oh no, we died. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the run in spite of that. That's my own idiocy to a large extent. Maybe that item room back there might have, would have made all the difference. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'll set a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.